okay. I mean, it's a little slow. I find it a bit more slower than, than usual from... Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to 31, the free slashes. So, we are three days in now, and for day three, we are reviewing Friday the 13th, part two. Uh, this was written by Ronkers and directed by Steve Miner, starring Adrian King, A.B. Steele, and John Fury. Uh, John Fury and Steve Dickenwise, Steve Deskiwise, Desk where his name is, as Jason, with uh, Warrington Gillett as Unmasked Jason. So this is, oh, and also, yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. So this is the sequel to <clears throat> 1980s Friday the 13th. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, the first sequel in the Friday franchise where Jason makes his big killer debut in this. Yeah, he, he was in it very briefly in the first film, but in this one, he takes over and becomes the killer we all know him as. Well, not quite. Of course, in this one, he doesn't don the iconic hockey mask yet. He's still coming into his own. He has, like, the potato sack on his head, like the phantom from the town that dreaded sundown. So, um, basically Alice is alive and she dies in the opening scene very briefly. Uh, yeah, she's in it very briefly and dies very sudden. And where is she? Uh, you know, she like, I know that she's not at Crystal Lake, which is in New Jersey. She's like, is she in Chicago, San Francisco? Some other state. And I'm just thinking, how the hell did Jason make the journey there? Did he walk? And... You know, because he kills her in the opening scene. I don't know how that works. But anyway, on with the plot. Again, a quick briefing on what happens. Jason now takes over as the killer. And he kills. Uh, we get, you know, our usual kills. The shish kebab kill in this one. Where a couple are in bed at it. And Jason impales them on a spike. Um... You know, the guy in the wheelchair kill where he gets the machete thrown in his face. Um, and, of course, our final girl, um, what's her name? Played by Amy Steele. 
Um, our final girl, um, Ginny, Ginny Field, um, you know, survives the night, and she even, f for a while, fools Jason by putting on his mother's sweater and pretending to be her, till he sees her severed head behind her and realises that's not his mother. Anyway, she survives. She has a whole, we have a whole jump scare thing again where Jason jumps through a window, grabs her, then that's a dream, or is it? And then again, the film ends where she gets loaded onto an ambulance. We have our final guy in this as well, uh, Paul, played by John Fury. Okay, so yeah, that's all I've got to say about this one, because you'll have seen it before. If you haven't, where the hell have you been living? Well, where have you been? So let's get on to my likes and dislikes on this one. First of all, the likes. I like Jason in this, how he comes into it and takes over as the killer. Of course, doesn't don the hockey mask, but at the time, he that wasn't an iconic thing. This was just a sequel, and I don't know how far they were planning to go at that time, but look at where they are now, and you know, part three is where Jason gets the hockey mask, and we'll get to that eventually. Yes, we will. Um, but yeah, I like Jason. I like the guy who played him. Um, what's his name? Summer uh, Desk and Wise or whatever. Uh, Steve Desk and Wise. I'm, a, I'm butchering the name. I can't get it right. Uh, he does a great performance as Jason. You know, silent, like an innocent inner child. Just, you know, taking revenge out on his mother. I think he fulfills his mother's vengeance, but I guess he gets a taste for killing. And he keeps going from there. Um, but yeah, I love Jason, he's my favourite slasher villain, and I will do every rule to survive. So I won't do drugs, I won't have sex, I won't do none of that stuff. In fact, I didn't even have sex until I was in my early 20s, you know, because of Jason, you know. Uh, I guess uh, that's the whole thing with horror fans, you know, Jason's a good contraception, contraceptive, you know. Um, okay, so... Uh, other things, um, I liked our final girl in this, she was a lot smarter in this, she was, you know, Ginny, she was smarter, she at one point knew how to get Jason and she actually got him vulnerable for one second, if only she not moved too much for Jason to notice that's not his mother, but still she survives and we never see her again, um, yeah, the story, I think the story is okay, I mean, it's a little slow. I find it a bit more slower than than usual from when I first, from when I last watched it. Um, I mean, this film is about um, let's see. This film is 87 minutes long, so not as long as the first film, but it feels long. I don't know why it does. It just does, but. Uh, but once Jason started killing you, know, that's when it all really kicked off. I start, I was entertained then and enjoyed the kills. Um, and yeah, this was a fun one for me. Uh, but again, a bit slow with the first act and the middle act. Um, still, this was a bit of a, an okay town to be in Crystal Lake. It's like, you know, they were again, pretty much like the first one, they were getting ready to reopen Camp Crystal Lake. And of course, Jason attacks and they never bother. You know, some of the wisest people in there are at the bar, the local bar, and I think it's best they stay there because, you know, Jason's on the rampage. But uh, yeah, I think this was a great way to kick off Jason's killing cur killer career. And um, yeah, this isn't my favourite... Well, it is one of my favourite sequels, but... Um, you know, there's a lot more of the sequels out there that are the greater ones. But anyway, this one is a good sequel, and I do enjoy it, and I recommend it. Uh, of course, you, I think you've got to watch, like, the first one first to get this one. Uh, so, yeah. Um, the cinematography was okay in this classic 80s style. So, final thoughts and ratings. I enjoyed Friday the 13th Part 2. Fun sequel, fun kills. You know, including the shish kebab kill which I mentioned and the you know wheeling down the stairs backwards and what other kills are in there that I remember. Oh yeah, the whole bed kill when Jason's hiding under the covers and he comes out and kills. That's a good kill as well. I will admit the you know the jump scare where Jason jumps through the window. That did make me jump the very first time I watched it, but now I'm immune to all that. And yeah. 
And there was even a bit where a copper as well, snooping around Jason's lair, got hammered in the head. That was a good kill. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to give Friday the 13th part 3, uh, not part 3, part 2, part 3 is in a few days. I'm going to give Friday the 13th part 2, 3. 3 machetes out of 5. So that has been my review for uh, day 3, Friday the 13th part 2. Um, yeah, if you've seen this, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can watch all the 31 so far on my channel. And um, yeah, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. Um, and all my social media links are down below in the description. So until tomorrow, don't have nightmares.